So I've been wanting to make this cute little craft that I saw on Pinterest for a long time. And I knew I was going to make this before we even got Ziva because I was looking up puppy ideas because you only have the puppy age once. And anyone who knows me knows I am obsessed with my animals. They are my whole life. They are my best friends. And it shows in my wardrobe, my social media, and even my bedroom. And I'll put some pictures up of some of the things that are around my room. And believe it or not, I have even more, but I pretty much emptied my room out and there was another shelf and a desk in here before we got Ziva because I wanted to make sure there was enough room for her and no choking hazards or anything. But I'll show what I still have up. And one thing I want to do is on this back wall above my bed, I want to make a little gallery wall. And there's a picture of one of my senior pictures that I want to put like on a big canvas in the middle. And I want to put little pictures around it. So I have so many more ideas that I want to do. And one thing I'm putting in my room is the thing that I want to make right now. I don't know if it's going to go on that wall or where it's going to go, but I've been wanting to make it. And we got a cute little picture frame from Meyer. I think it was $10 when we got it. And I originally tried doing this with blueberries, like smushing up blueberries and making ink, but it turned into a watery mess. And what I'm doing is there's four slots in the picture frame and one of them I wrote love on a piece of paper and then I'm writing each of the pet's names on another one and then I'm gonna put their paw prints on them and I'm really excited to do this it's just so cute and since Eve is a puppy it'll be a cute little like time capsule almost but her paws are already huge so yeah she takes up a decent amount of the paper we got this kid safe ink believe it or not it's really hard to find pet safe ink so we just went with kid ink and figured it would be good and washed it off right away before I got to actually put their paws on I had to trim the fur on their paws which Dexter wasn't enjoying too much and this was only Ziva's second time getting her paws trimmed so she's a little squirmy and Remy's used to the grooming table or being outside not in a bathtub so that's why they're all kind of all over the place and why it might be hard to see but, and I cleaned their paws beforehand. 